Hi guys, I'm going to solve number three of the independent practice from the lesson Absolute Value um, Equations. Um, this one seemed to give a lot of kids trouble. Um, so let's think of a, another way of looking at this equation. Well, x plus 8 is inside of the absolute value. Now if you think of that entire thing as just x, is this entire thing, whoops, that's just not pretty, of this entire thing as x, then what's being done to the x? Well, first there's a negative 1 here, and that's being multiplied to negative 1, and then this negative 1 is being added to it. So if I actually rewrite this to make a little bit more sense, it'll be negative 1 times x plus 8 minus 1 equals negative 2. Okay, um, that's that may help you out um, to better solve this. And I don't like this squiggly one. I like, yeah. Um, but all you do is you have to do addition and subtraction first to get rid of um, numbers to isolate the absolute value here. So that tells us that we add 1 to both sides. So we get a negative 1 times so the value of x plus 8 equals negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 1. So we get the absolute value of x plus 8 equals 1. Now, to remove the absolute value sign, we need to split it into two equations. We need the positive version, which is basically the equation you see without the absolute value sign, or we need the negative counterpart, which all I'm going to do is take put a negative 1 outside of the entire content or expression that's inside of the absolute value sign. And now I just solve. Subtract negative 8 on both sides, so x equals negative 7. For this one, I'm going to distribute the negative. So negative x minus 8 equals 1. Add 8 to both sides. So I get negative x equals 9. Divide both sides by negative 1. So I get x equals negative 9. So my two answers are x equals negative 7 or x equals negative 9. And I can actually check that. I can put it back into the equation. Negative 7 plus 8 is positive 1. The absolute value of positive 1 is 1. Um, so when it, after it comes out of the absolute value, it's going to be 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. You add that to negative 1, you get a negative 2. Negative 9, um, the absolute, I mean, negative 9 plus 8 is negative 1. The absolute value of that is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And then you add it to negative 1, and you get a negative 2. So those answers are correct. And if you got them, well, good job. Yay.